The best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. That is the best way. Doing math is much more productive and efficient when it comes to learning math than, say, watching a math video. Even reading, which I think reading is incredible, and reading will bring something to you that doing a math problem won't give you. But doing math is the ultimate way to learn. There's nothing better. It's harder. It's harder to do math problems than it is to watch math videos. But typically in life, good things come with hard work. When you do those harder things like solving math problems, you're going to get better results. You know, watching math videos or even videos like this one, it's very passive. So it's very easy. Whereas solving you know, a hard integral or working out a proof takes a lot more effort. This video is not about doing mathematics. This video is about how to get yourself to do mathematics. Because if you can do more math, you're going to learn more math. And that's what we all want, is to get better. Now, there's a couple different things you can do to get yourself to do more math. And I'm going to start with the easiest one, which is the most powerful one. But it's a bit fleeting. And you're going to see what I mean in a second. So the number one way to get yourself to do math, and the most obvious way, is to do math when you feel like it. Now, this, this might seem kind of silly, but hear me out. I'm sure you've had this feeling where you wake up one day, and you have your breakfast, you have your coffee, maybe it's a Saturday, you, know, you don't have to work today, you don't have to go to school, and you feel good, you feel motivated. You say, today I'm gonna do some math. And then you go to your room and you look at your books and, you know, I have tons of books here. And so the more books you have, the more choices you have. Then you think, oh, maybe I'll watch a math video instead. So you go on YouTube, but there's a gazillion math videos. So you spend all of this positive energy that you had, you spend all of this motivation that you had overthinking and trying to make a decision about what you should study. And that is dangerous because what that does is that takes away your energy. Even worse, maybe you have distractions. Maybe you pick up your phone and you look at Instagram or maybe you have a text message from your significant other. And so all of a sudden, that positive energy that you had, that, that motivation that you had to do mathematics, it starts to dwindle. Next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock and you're hungry again. Hey, let me go out and get a hamburger. Next thing you know, you're doing something else and your day is done. And you never studied mathematics. Your day is gone. You lost that positive energy. You lost that motivation. So what you need to do is next time you have this strong inclination to do mathematics, next time you feel like, say, hey, today I'm going to do some mathematics. Stop overthinking. Just do it. It's like that old Nike slogan. Just do it. But you need to do it right away. Don't, don't wait. Grab a book, sit down, get a pencil, get a piece of paper, and start doing math. Just do it right now. That's how you do math because you need to take that positive energy and just do it. If you, if you wait, your mind, your thoughts, because I'm sure you're very intelligent. If you're watching this video, you, you're probably a person who likes math. You probably do math. You probably have a relatively... I mean, you're pretty smart probably, right? Most people who watch this channel, I feel like, you know, there's, there's a pretty high level of intellect here. And people who are smart, oftentimes they, they overthink. They overthink. It's, it's normal. It happens to all of us. So stop overthinking and start doing. And try to remember that. Try to be aware of the fact next time it happens. So next time you have that feeling where you say, oh, I really feel like doing math. Oh, I really want to do some abstract algebra. Oh, I really would. I want to go back and go through my old notes, old, go through my old calculus notes and do some integrals. Whatever it is you want to learn, when you have that feeling in your mind like you want to do it, immediately, as soon as possible, get yourself to do it. Because the more time that passes after you have those motivational thoughts, after you feel that positive energy, that inspiration, the more time it's going to fade. Because those feelings are often fleeting, 
right? We're normal. We're human beings. We're not perfect, right? We're not machines. We're not, you know, meant to work 10 hours a day every day like robots. We have highs and lows. We have ups and downs. So what I'm saying is you want to embrace those highs, those small moments of of inspiration, those small moments where you feel motivated, where you feel like, hey, I want to do some math today. Embrace it, grab it, don't let it go, and sit down and do some math right now. That's how you do math. That is the best way to do math. And it's the best way to do math because when you take that positive energy and you sit down and you start doing math during those moments, you're gonna find, you're gonna find that those are gonna be your best, most productive study sessions. Those are gonna be the best. Those are gonna be the game changers. Those are gonna be the sessions where you might end up doing 20 proofs and studying for five hours in a row, going over uniformly continuous functions and figuring out some new strategies. Those will be those moments where you know you go deeper into that functional analysis book and learn about linear operators just a little bit more. Those are the glory moments. Those are the best moments for learning. And you can apply this to anything in life. It doesn't matter what you're studying. When you have that little moment of inspiration, you should take it and you should use it. These are the moments that change lives. These are the moments that great things can be done because you have so much positive energy. And again, it's so easy to lose it. It really is. Overthinking is probably one of the biggest reasons people lose this. I have friends who have great ideas. I have a friend, he's a great guy. I just saw him a few days ago. He came over, we had pizza. Super intelligent, brilliant. But he overthinks all the time. And I'm always telling him, oh, you gotta stop overthinking, man. You gotta stop overthinking. He is so smart. He is a brilliant man. But he overthinks. And I do it too, I overthink too. We all do it. Nobody is perfect, we're humans. Embrace those moments when you feel like doing math and act on them. It's going to make a huge difference. And if you're aware of those moments, hopefully now by watching this video, you're aware of those moments. So next time it happens, you can embrace it and you can start doing some math. And and again, those are the best days. But those moments are fleeting. They, they don't always happen. We don't always have those moments where we feel motivated. Nobody wakes up motivated every single day. So you need something else. You need to find your why. Why Why do you want to learn math? Why do you want to learn a new language? There's lots of things I want to do. I want to play guitar. I play and sing guitar. And I really want to make videos of me playing and singing guitar and put them on YouTube. But I don't do it. Why? Because I haven't found my why. I don't have a strong enough reason to do it. It sounds fun, but... I don't really want it enough to actually go out and do it. Plus, I need a better microphone. I can't use this one for my guitar. So I'm making excuses. And that's fine. I'm making excuses. But it's because I don't want it bad enough. Plus, I can't sing. I could teach myself. But do I want to? I don't want it bad enough. At least not yet. So if you want to do something in life, like learn mathematics, you need to have a stronger why. Obviously, in my case, my why is not strong enough. But for most of us here on this channel, who are doing mathematics, most of us have a pretty strong why. You know, if you're doing math, chances are, chances are you're trying to get a degree. Maybe it's a degree in nursing, or maybe it's a degree in mathematics, which is an even stronger why. But if you're in college at all, or in high school, you've already found your why. I'm gonna give it to you right now. If you're in college, or if you're in high school right now, this is it. This is the only time in your life that you're going to be in college or in high school, right? This is it, this is it. I used to tell my class this years ago. This is the only time you're in calculus, I would tell them. In 30 years, you're not gonna be in calculus, right? So why not try to get an A? You don't wanna look back in 30 years and say, oh, I remember when I was in calculus. Yeah, I didn't give it my 100%. Is it gonna change your life if you get an A? Probably not. It might, but probably not. But why not do your best? Because the time is now. Right? This is the only time you have right now. I mean, chances are, if you're in school, you're not going to be in school in 30 years. You might be married. You might have kids, whatever. Your life will be very, very different. And this is the one life we have. So that's a good enough reason to do your best at whatever you do, especially mathematics, especially if you're in college. Another reason, even a more powerful one, might be, you know, if you're trying to learn something so that you can get a degree, well, a degree will help you get a job. 
people always say, oh, degrees don't matter. It's just a piece of paper. Sure, okay, but I don't even know if it's a piece of paper anymore. I guess they mail you one. They mailed me a couple, but I never hung them up. I'm, I'm not really about awards or degrees. It's just not my thing. But it does give you that qualification that you need a lot of times to get in the door at jobs. So it matters, right? It's better to have a degree than not have a degree, right? Look back into your future self 20 years from now. Would you rather have a math degree or not have a math degree? Would you rather have a computer science degree or not have a computer science degree? Obviously, you would choose to have a degree, right? Given the choice. So find your why. Maybe you come from a poor family and you want to start to build wealth. So, you know, a degree can actually help you get that job to get you started. You might not be rich, but it'll get you started, right? There's no guarantees in life. But you need to find your why. Whatever it is, people have different whys. Some people, I don't do this, but some people look back and they think about all the times they've been wronged and they use that as their why. I, that's not something I do, especially not for mathematics. I don't look back and think, oh, my teacher said I couldn't do it. I'm going to prove them wrong. That's just not the attitude I have. A lot of people have that attitude and I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just not mine. It's just not mine. So find your why. Your why is going to help push you on those days where you're not motivated because those fleeting moments of inspiration are just that. They're fleeting moments. Find your why and use it and use it to motivate yourself to do mathematics or whatever it is you're trying to do in your life. Even if you're aware of the fact that you have to take opportunities when they arise, you have to grab these fleeting moments and use them. Even if you found your why, you're still going to wake up one day and you're going to say no. You might wake up tomorrow and say, oh, I really wanted to learn calculus, but not today. Today is not going to be it. I'll do it tomorrow. You'll wake up the next day like, I really want to learn calculus, but not today. I'll do it the next day. That's called lack of discipline. And discipline is more powerful than anything. It's more powerful than motivation because when you're disciplined, you can work when you're not motivated. And so the trick is to create discipline. And the best way to create discipline is to create daily habits. I always think that the best way to do math or anything is to tell yourself that you're just going to do at least a little bit every day. I know there's all kinds of study plans and I've talked about, you know, if you do math 30 minutes a day, you're going to get better. And that's true. You know, if you do math an hour a day, you're going to get better. But most of us don't have the discipline to do that. And I'm not saying it's because we're weak or we're, you know, inferior to other people because some people can do that. Some people are very disciplined. They can do that. They can they can make a schedule. They can sit down and they can work for an hour a day. I've seen these people. They are highly successful people in everything they do because they have discipline. But most of us are not there yet. So to get there, you have to tell yourself you're going to do at least a little bit. And I think that's one of the best ways to build discipline. Tell yourself you're going to do at least one problem every day. And that will get you started on the path to building discipline, which will carry you on those days where you don't have that motivation. On those days when even though you have your why, you just can't get yourself to do it. Discipline is the best if you can build it. Remember, just one problem a day. I hope this helps you. And, and I think it will. The most important lesson that you should take away from this video is the first one. It's those fleeting moments. Because I think that's one that most people can grab and take advantage of. Finding out your why, that might not happen right away. That might take time. It might take weeks. It might take months. It might take years. It might take a long time. And your why will change as you mature and age and develop over time. You know, your why for why you want to do something will change when you're 25 years old. It will be different from when you're 30. It will be different from when you're 35. People's priorities and motivations change over time. It's normal. So your why will change. And discipline is not built overnight. Discipline takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, and it is not easy to build. But being able to embrace those fleeting moments, that's an easier one. Because all you have to do is be aware of those moments and tell yourself when it happens, when you feel like doing math, embrace it, sit down and do it. When you feel like going for a run, go for that run. When you feel like you should go to the gym, go to the gym. Whatever it is you're trying to do, embrace that moment and don't overthink and don't overplan. Just do it. 
Do you have advice for people watching this video? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section. People from all over the world watch these videos, and whenever you leave positive comments, it really helps other people. We have people here on the channel that are you know, probably teenagers in high school, um, a lot of college students, professors, all kinds of people watch this content. And when you leave something useful, it helps people. If you have interesting stories, it helps people. Also, just to pop myself, I do have an Instagram. It's the Real Math Sorcerer. I post random stuff, just all kinds of stuff, not just math, but whatever. I like Instagram because there's music, <laughs> so I can pick music. It's so fun. I, I love Instagram. And I have courses for sale. If you buy my courses, they are on the Udemy website, but please use my links on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Check out my courses. I have courses on all areas of basic math pretty much and a few more advanced courses. Also, I've set the prices on my courses as low as possible. So if you go through my website, you should be able to get a really good price. Or you can use the links in any of my YouTube videos. Get yourself to do more math. You can do it. Remember these three things, right? Embrace those fleeting moments of motivation. Super key. Find your why. Right? Why do you want to study math? And work on building discipline. This is one that is not going to happen overnight. And there, there's things you can do to build discipline. And perhaps I'll, I'll talk about that in a future video. Until next time, good luck. Go do some math.